my loves welcome back so in today's video i have a sweat proof makeup tutorial using all drugstore or inexpensive brands so if you like to see this video stay tuned so here my face is already moisturized and now i'm going to use the neutrogena shine control primer you guys if you're looking for an inexpensive primer that keeps you matte try this one i absolutely love it here is the Maybelline Maxter Fix Setting and Perfecting um, Loose Powder. Um, this will keep your face even more matte and sweat proof. <laughs> now I'm using the LA Girl Pro um, Concealer in the Orange Corrector. This is just to um, color, you know, color correct, <laughs> obviously. And I'm just going to um, use the, what's this, the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to Pat that all in. Here, I'm to prime my eyes. I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. And I'm just using a, I think this brush is by BH Cosmetics to smooth that out. And here, I love this brow pencil, you guys. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Definer in Dark Brunette. Oh. I hear it's comparable to the Anastasia um, brow products, but I have never used any of them, but I love this thing. So if this is what it is to use Anastasia, well, I know the hype, where the hype is, but this thing is amazing. Um, I'm going to give you a little quick uh, brow uh, tutorial in here, even though, you know, I'm still, my brows are still a work in progress, but I think they came out pretty good. Oh, if you hear any wind, that is the fan. It is like murder up here in New York. No, it's not really that bad, but it's hot. <laughs> yeah, so here I'm just shaping the other one. Now I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Dark, Co in dark Cocoa to clean up my brows. Um, this pretty much matches my skin tone, if you can believe that. Or maybe I just use it lighter. I don't know. Whatever. It works. This brush is by BH Cosmetics. If you don't have any BH Cosmetic brush set, this one right here is amazing. This is that gold one. Bronze, just gold, whatever. And now I'm just putting some tape on to put on the shadow. Um, here is the Carly Bible palette. This one is by BH Cosmetics. Um, I know you can get this to Ulta now. So I don't know if you can get it in the store, but I know you could definitely get it online. So um, at Ulta too. So yeah, that's why I just used this one. Um, the colors aren't marked. So this was like a grayish color. Yeah, it didn't really show up too well. I had to keep on going over and over it, but whatever. You're going to see that, that I'm going to go over and over and over and over with it. And the next color is like a plummy burgundy color. I like this color. It was really pretty. I think I put too much of the milk on because it was like hard to get these colors. to. I had to keep on going in and in. This is one of the highlighters, but I, another color I had tried didn't do anything. So I said, well, let me try this one. And it came up pretty, really pretty. Okay, this one is by ColourPop. This is the Super Shock Eyeshadow in Mooning. Um, I started using this with a brush. You're not even going to see it. I think I edited that part out. Um, but that really was taking too long. So I just decided to use my finger and just pop it. I mean, like, apply it with that. And it worked pretty well. Here's the ColourPop Cream Liner in Swerve. I hate the way I put this liner on. But, you know, let's work with it. Y'all can hate it too. It's fine. <laughs> Now, this is the Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Extreme Mascara. This one is in black. I usually get, you know, black is black, but they didn't have it. This is the Neutrogena Nourishing Long Wear Makeup. I don't know why they don't call it foundation, but I'm going to find out. <laughs> but this is so light, yet full coverage. I love this foundation. I'm just in love with, like, all the Neutrogena um, foundations. They're really, really good. 
or that just could be me. I'm like kind of biased to Neutrogena because Neutrogena is what I use in my skincare um, regimen. So I guess I might just be biased in the line. <laughs> I don't have any problems with breakouts or anything when I use Neutrogena products. So that's why I said if I'm going to use one, let me use this one. And this one is so lightweight that you can wear it all day. You can, um, you know, in the sun and everything like that and you do not sweat. I had it on all day running some errands when I filmed this and it didn't budge. Now here we are with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 30 Cafe. And yes, I finally got one of these. I love it too. It's really nice. It's very light. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. So I was impressed. Very impressed. <laughs> Pressed. <laughs> impressed. <laughs> Boy. Now here I'm just taking a tissue, even though I wish it was a paper towel, to block off some of the oil that might have came through while I was applying my foundation and concealer and stuff. This right here is the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder in Translucent. No, in Invisible, I'm sorry. And I'm just taking a little... Sp um, applicator sponge that I got from Sephora it came in a three pack and it was only eight dollars so that's why I used him because he's in inexpensive also <laughs> now here is a NYX blush and pinched this is such a pretty pinky color it's very nice it looks very good on um I, I would I'm guessing every skin tone I know on mine it looks good now this here I'm not even sure if they still make it but this is the black radiance artisan bronzer and rum spice and i got this at where was i at rite aid and i loved it now here is the nyx lip liner pencil in brown yeah i don't know if i should have did this but i did it anyway and i ended up filling in my whole lips i mean the my entire lips with it but I don't know if it did anything to the color of what I'm going to use next, but we'll see. This is the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in Beauty Mark. A very pretty color. I love the way these feel. They're like, you know, not sticky, not, you know, they don't feel heavy on your lips. That's why I like it. Here is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. Just spray that face. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And on to my next one. Bye, my loves.